Gone are the days when you had to wait months for the construction of your house. Technology has come far, but, well, no one could have predicted that it would come to the point where you will be able to see your house fully constructed in less than a day. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to tell you about a Danish firm that claims that it can 3D print a fully fledged house in less than 22 hours. So let's begin. Before we get into printing houses, let us first tell you a little about 3D printing. The term 3D printing refers to an additive manufacturing process. It is additive because it doesn't start with a block of material or a mold, but rather builds out items by stacking and fusing layers of material. It can produce more complicated geometries than conventional techniques technologies, and its list of available materials is constantly expanding, all while being relatively quick to set up and use. It finds widespread application in the engineering sector, particularly for the purposes of prototyping and the development of lightweight geometries. Now, this might have gone a little too complex for you guys, so in simple words, you use special types of printers that rely on special types of materials to make anything imaginable. You can even make houses. Yes, you heard it right. You can now print houses, and there are multiple firms that are doing just that. House 1.0, the first 3D printed concrete tiny house in Europe, was recently unveiled by Danish 3D printing business 3DCP Group. The Holstebro Denmark structure was designed by Saga Space Architects and constructed by modular 3D construction printer business Cobot. The total floor area of the building is only 37 square meters. However, it contains all the essentials. The overarching goal of this effort is to improve the quality of construction while also cutting down on time and resources spent on laborious tasks. The house, a joint effort by the Danish firms 3DCP and Saga Space Architects, is made up of triangular volumes that are placed in a circular pattern around an open central core. A bathroom, an open kitchen, a living room, and a bedroom are all included in this compact home. The bedroom was placed on a mezzanine level above the bathroom to maximize vertical space. The ceiling was raised to make this possible. The entire structure, from the roof down to the base, is printed out of low-cost real concrete using a massive Cobot Construction 3D printer. However, in keeping with Nordic architectural style, the interior is clad in warm wood. Isn't this amazing? Simply imagine the time saved on these projects. Now, let us tell you a little about the technology behind this revolutionary project. Now, obviously, the regular 3D printers aren't going to cut it when it comes to building houses, so the company employs a bigger version of these printers. Plus, the way they lay concrete with the printers layer by layer reduces both waste and the consumption of material. All the while, it allows a multitude of tasks to take place, which contributes to the process being completed more speedily and efficiently. Soft organic forms closer to the ideal as nature would have it are now simpler to construct with this technology, resulting in a more stimulating and fascinating built environment. Homes of the future won't have thousands of separate components, but rather a single cohesive whole that's tailored to each particular family. 3DCP is all about sustainability. As a team, they take a comprehensive approach to project development and design. Working with only one material or in isolation from the rest of the structure is neither sustainable nor productive. The indoor climate, outdoor areas, CO2 discharge, optimized design procedures, shortened construction process, lower material consumption, and reduced influence on biodiversity are just a few of the numerous issues to think about. In addition, they have prior knowledge in many of these areas thanks to their work in traditional buildings, leading to a complementary dynamic between the 3D printing design and development phases. They are connected to the Danish Green Building Council DGNB, a non-profit group working to advance eco-friendly building practices in the country. 3DCP employs a technique that quantifies and qualifies sustainability in a formula. The 37 criteria in the DGNB system are broken down into six primary themes. Environmental quality, economic quality, social quality, technical quality, process quality, and area quality, all of which will be used in 3DCP Group's projects. They can also use the DGNB system to evaluate their 3D printed projects alongside all other sustainable DGNB initiatives using the same criteria. As a byproduct of their cooperation with DGBN, they are also showing their support for the United Nations UN Sustainable Development Goals SDGs. In short, sustainability is central to 3DCP Group's mission, and the company places special emphasis on ensuring that stability is not confused with greenwashing or empty claims that add little to the overall value of a project. In doing so, 3DCP Group provides a window into the here and now while also pointing to a future in which the construction sector can achieve great 
greater sustainability than it has in the past. Well, 3DCP isn't the only firm that has gotten into the 3D house printing business. A 3D printed home was completed in late 2021 in Williamsburg, Virginia. It took just 22 hours to print the outer walls of this three-bedroom, two-bathroom house. Habitat for Humanity and Alquist 3D worked together to create the home. Alquist, a 3D printing construction company, used the project's success as motivation to begin a new ambitious initiative this spring, the construction of 200 additional 3D printed homes in Virginia within the next five years. According to the company, it will be the largest construction project using 3D printing technology. Two houses in Pulaski, a small town in the western section of the state with a population of 9,000, were the initial launch point for Project Virginia in late April. Alquist picked Pulaski for more than just its proximity to the university. He also knew that the town would experience rapid growth over the following five years. Blacksburg, home to Virginia Tech, is less than 30 minutes away, creating demand for more affordable housing among students and staff. Although Alquist hasn't said how much they plan to sell the Project Virginia houses for after they're finished, we'd expect them to be priced at or slightly below market value, as one of the company's goals is to lower the cost of homes and contribute to solving the housing issue. Up until now, Alquist has relied on a massive gantry-style machine from Danish company Kobod for all of its printing needs. Black Buffalo 3D's Nexcon, which is also gantry-style and can build structures up to three stories tall, is being used instead. By OSHA regulations governing industrial robot systems, its maximum speed is 9.8 inches per second, and it can work continuously for a maximum of 12 hours. According to Nexcon, a 1,000-square-foot building may be constructed in less than 20 hours under these conditions. The Raspberry Pi was utilized in the homes Alquist has developed in the past to monitor environmental data and enable smart building applications like optimizing energy efficiency and keeping tabs on security. A lot of the modern conveniences found in older houses will also be standard in the new ones. In light of the printer's rapidity in erecting walls, five years appears excessive for the construction of 200 dwellings. The company has not yet finalized the locations of all the proposed houses because of the extensive planning, zoning, and utilities work that remains to be done. Looks like everyone is moving toward 3D printing. After all, when your construction costs fall and your house gets ready quickly, there are very few people who are going to complain. Now, one problem with these houses is that they are a bit on the smaller side. But we believe that with the right motivation and planning, these companies will be able to build entire mansions. Imagine ordering one of these homes. You would just go to work one day and when you get back, your house will almost be half ready. Sounds amazing now, doesn't it? Well, we think so. Well, the future is bright for these 3D houses. Not only are they providing a solution to the expensive housing problem, but they are also doing a boon to the environment. So start saving up, folks, because you would want to live in one of these amazing homes. So that is all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.